Hi, I'm Sarah Pyle, Associate Vice President for Student Affairs, and I'm so excited to be a part of your day. I'm glad we've gathered to celebrate our diverse community, and although we aren't on campus together, I'm here in Salmson Court, where we've come together for so many events in the past. Our hope is that you spend this day with people that best define what family means to you, people who celebrate your successes, challenge you to grow, and bring joy to your life. Please share photos on social media using hashtag UArtsWeekend or hashtag UArts, and join us throughout the day with virtual Meet Your School and open mic night activities. You can see a full list of events at uarts.edu backslash virtual UArtsWeekend. UArts Weekend is a tradition in our community in which we welcome hundreds of family members, friends, and alumni to our campus for a weekend of exhibitions, performances, and immersion in our beautiful campus and neighborhood. I remain hopeful that we will be able to gather, celebrate, and create memories in person next year. So please mark your calendars and join us October 1st through 3rd, 2021 for UArts Weekend. Now before I go, I want to share some personal videos with each of you. We asked our families, friends, faculty, staff, and students how they're making the most of this moment. And here's what they had to say. Hi, my name's Flex. I'm a junior dance major in creative writing minor, and this is my home school. I usually do all of my academic classes right here at my kitchen counter. I always have my planner nearby so I can put fun little color-coded notes and reminders in for myself. And my water bottle is always in an arm's reach so that way I can stay super hydrated throughout the day. I do all of my movement-based classes right here in my living room. I'm making the most of my moment by making sure I'm staying on top of all of my schoolwork and really finding times in the week for self-care. And I'm also making sure that I'm putting all of my effort into dance and movement so that way I can be my best self. The Office of Campus Life is making the most of this moment by practicing the piano, riding my bike through the city, spending more time in my kitchen, by diffusing essential oils and reading. I'm making the most of this moment by being able to make the art that I want to while also honing my craft as an actor. I've been looking at this mountain every day, multiple times throughout the day since mid-March. Every time I look at it, it's a different mountain, always changing and always awe-inspiring. Hi, I'm Gianna. I use she, her pronouns. I am a sophomore game art major and I am making the most of this moment by keeping my workspace colorful to keep me creative. So here's a little room tour. The way that I'm making the most of this moment is by giving myself a chance to breathe because in order to be in a place where I can create, I also have to be in a place where I can reflect. I'm making the most of this moment by finally getting my own studio space and making the best work that I could possibly make. Hi, my name is Michael Grothus and I teach in the sculpture program at the University of the Arts. And I'm making the most of this moment by continuing to work in my studio on sculptures like the one you see behind me and passing on my love of art making onto the students. Hi, I'm Rosé. I teach people how to make books and fine arts. And how am I making the most of this moment? By making as many books, just like this one, as I can. I am making the most of my moment by using all of my space and my dance classes, including the unconventional spaces as well. I'm also decorating with fun little things around my apartment to keep me inspired and happy throughout Zoom classes. Good afternoon. It's always odd right now where no one responds good afternoon. But good afternoon and a very warm welcome to all UArts students and their families. I'm David Yeager, President and CEO of University of the Arts, and I'm so glad to be with you this afternoon. Based on recent conversations I had with a number of groups, including UArts Parents Council and some meetings with faculty and students, we've identified a few questions that we think many of you share and that we'll try to answer today. 
My daughter would call me and ask me the same question, should she allow her children to go back to school? And I said, you have to follow the science. And it was clear to my, myself and senior management and deans, and I think most faculty, that based on the best advice from the medical community and the fact that we are in a city and our buildings are very vertical and we all use the same elevators. We felt it would be incredibly dangerous. And at the time, we also had information, which has changed and continues to change, that not only is it transmitted through the air, but very heavily transmitted through touch. And if you think about all the arts, we're either breathing on each other, touching things around each other, and so it was pretty clear for all the right reasons. And it wasn't only about our students becoming sick, it was about with our faculty, with our staff, with our security people, with our cleaning people, and then potentially would they get infected and bring it home to family and community. So although it was a difficult decision, at the end of the day it became a fairly easy decision as we really looked at the facts. I believe it will be in the fall. Um, I believe, especially if you look at the numbers today, for instance, um, nationally, depending on which numbers you look at, we either had the highest number since COVID started or the third highest number since COVID started. And even worse, if you look at the graph, the numbers are moving in the wrong direction up. At the end of the day, I care about our safety and security of our community. And that's the number one thing we have to concern ourselves with. And all these decisions have been difficult. They've been financially very expensive for the university. But we made a decision that we would look at the health reason first and then deal with the financial reason. I would say today that we will be remote in our spring semester. And we are beginning to also talk about, are there things we can do to subsidize, to, to help in certain programs during the spring semester? And we have not made that decision yet. So personally, um, I hope commencement will be in person. I love our commencement. It's a one of a kind. Um, for those of you who've never seen it before, it's an amazing experience. For some of us who've been at other institutions coming here, it's, it really is a one of a kind. But again, I think we're gonna to have to look at what are the health and safety rules. And Philadelphia has some pretty tough health and safety rules about how many people can get together and what size the space is. And we're gonna to have to look at the science and where the virus is. And what does it mean to bring people in from all over the country, families, friends, to come to commencement and then what does it mean to go out after commencement in a traditional way to go to restaurants? So I hope, I really do, I really miss, uh, I miss having students here, I'll, I'll miss commencement. But again, we're gonna really react to what the science tells us and not jeopardize people's health and safety during this really difficult time. No different than a regular year, some courses are working extremely well some are working pretty well, and some are not working as well as we like. And we're trying to identify those courses and improve them. But one of the things we decided early on was to try not to just take a course and make it remote, but to think about what we could add remote that we couldn't add in the classroom and how we could make it a different experience and equally as valuable. We've also talked about things that students might miss from not being in an in-person environment and the potential of making those up in courses in the future. So right now we're feeling pretty good about it. Our faculty are getting better and we're expanding the way they think about things and the way they experiment and try things. So we'll continue to learn and it's important. The arts will play and continue to play an important role in the future of the world. And you might think, well, what is that about? It's a lot of different things. It's some of our students who work in areas of social relevance, 
but it's also students who bring people together, joy to the world, and have the world think about things in a very different way. Having an experience of a performance, going to an exhibition, designing something, listening to a poem, hearing a story, or watching a film. All these things are important in changing people's lives and thinking about the world around us. And I think during this time, it's a great opportunity to step back from thinking about just making things and thinking about the world and thinking about things. I've recommended to a lot of people that this is a great time to do more reading, to read books that you always say you don't have time to read. We're thinking about starting a book club so students could not only read, but then have conversations with each other about the books they read. So I would recommend two things. We take time to think about things we could do differently right now, and we also think about how the arts can play the role in bringing us together and helping our world, because it needs help right now, in thinking about those important things and how we might all think together, work together, and resolve some very difficult issues. Jefferson University is, was really based on a health system. In the last year, they did acquire Philly U, but our interest with them was mostly on the health side. And we thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if our students wanted to take some more science courses, if they had an easy way of doing that? And we have other relationships with other universities so they can take other courses. But we also thought about the future of some graduate programs. So we decided to make it easy for students by cross-listing all of our courses with Jefferson and Jefferson courses with us and to see and evaluate how well that works. Jefferson is interested in art courses, especially creative courses and fine arts courses. So we're gonna take a look after a year or so and see how many of their students are taking our courses, what's working well, and continue to evaluate this. It's a great opportunity to just expand the potential portfolio and experiences our students can have at the University of the Arts. To put it in context, I wanna talk a little bit about centers. We've started a number of centers in the last couple of years, which I think are gonna be really important to the future of the University of the Arts, and hopefully other centers will grow. So the acquisition of the Art Alliance, which is under renovation now, which will be an incredible exhibition space, meeting space, performance space, and really a place for us to feel like we have a different kind of building where people could meet, we could have seminars, we could have talks. We started the Immersive Lab, which was really focused on augmented reality and virtual reality, really thinking about the new technologies and how they're going to affect all of our students. Initially, everybody talked about augmented reality and virtual reality relative to design students, animation students, and art students. But in fact, theater and dance are, being, are using that as much as anyone else. Broadway shows are using virtual reality. And immersive reality or augmented reality is gonna be used in everything that we think about in the next couple of years, including classrooms and education. So we really wanted to be on the forefront of that. And we're also partnering with Jefferson on some projects using augmented reality and virtual reality. The other um, center is Lightbox, which we were able to acquire. It's an incredible opportunity for our students to be in touch with the most interesting films, cinema, films that are more difficult to see, and the opportunity to discuss those films and hopefully talk to the directors, producers, or writers, and integrate film as a really important part of our program. So in the future, we hope that those centers engage across all the disciplines. We're already talking about another center, potentially for next year. And the centers will be a place to expand, explore, and experiment, which will then allow things to move its way into the normal academic programs and the centers will continue to experiment. So thank you, and, and I hope this has been helpful. For all of us, 
These are hopefully once in a lifetime time and certainly unusual times. And I know students are working extremely hard in difficult situations sometimes. Parents are also working extremely hard in difficult situations. Families, size of families, size of space, dynamics of family. But as artists, I always believe we have the best ability to improvise and adapt and to take situations that from the outside are not the best or from the outside look terrible or from the outside don't look so good and create something wonderful out of that moment. So to our student artists, really think about how you're gonna change the world and how this opportunity is gonna help change you as an artist. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gigi Giusto, Director for Student Affairs. I'm one of the many staff members that help to bring you UArts Weekend each and every year, and although virtual, this one's no exception. We sincerely hope you've enjoyed this welcome and we're looking forward to you joining us at 5 p.m. for our Meet Your School session. This did require an RSVP, so if you haven't done so, please feel free to email us at studentaffairs at uarts.edu to receive your invitation login. Also tonight at 7.30, our Office of Campus Life is hosting an open mic night. Details are on our virtual UArts Weekend website and on the UArts app in the Student Activities tile. We hope that while you spend time with those you love and call family, that you're able to share any photos you have using the hashtag UArts Weekend. And now, here are some more videos of our UArts community making the most of this moment. I am making the best of this moment by constantly reminding myself every day that the best is yet to come. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, crying all the time. You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Hello? I'm Michelle Kishta, Assistant Director of the Advising Center, and I'm making the most of this moment by focusing more deeply on my studio practice. Hi students, I've really been enjoying designing my classes and teaching to make the most of this moment. I've also been gardening, and here is my very first rose. I propagated it from my little South Philadelphia park. I am making the most of this moment by spending a lot of time with my friends, and we even set up a library in our living room. <laughs> Hi, I'm Erin Elman, the Dean of Graduate Professional Studies and the Interim Dean of the School of Art. And in this moment, I'm walking every day through my beautiful neighborhood in Philadelphia. Miss you all. Hi, my name is Sophia Marchese, and I'm a figs and a sophomore musical theater major. and. What I'm doing to get through this moment is I am Netflix partying with my friends. Tonight we are watching Twitches. Hope you guys are doing well. Hi everyone, my name is Jenna Cohen and I am a senior photo and film major. I'm making the most of this moment by creating a personal essay film about my experiences through this difficult time in our lives. And I'm making sure that I'm checking in on myself both mentally and physically through my long Zoom days, because we all know the Zoom fatigue is real. Hi, I'm Marcelino Stumer. I'm a painting professor in the Fine Arts program. I am making the most of this moment by making as many drawings as I can and doing a lot of reading. I'm making the most of my moment by taking lots of walks with my family. Taking a walk after having ice cream. Hi. My name is Diane Pepp and I just finished an exciting class with my students. I'm now going for a walk before my next class begins.
Hey y'all! This is Stephen Kleinman, Director of Creative Writing, and I am spending these last beautiful days of the fall jogging in Cobbs Creek Park. Hello, my name is Lara Frazier. I'm an assistant professor and coordinator of sculpture. And something exciting that I've done in the last few months is introduce a new modeling compound into my practice. Hi, I'm taking advantage of this moment by engaging in conversations and activism, which will make um, the performing arts and specifically the theater industry more equitable when we can all go back to work. My name is Miriam White and I work in the Advising Center. Uh, right here, case in point, and right there are the reasons that this pandemic has many silver linings. Instead of a commute, I get to spend more time with my little kids. Um, thank you. Say hi. Hi, my name is Annabelle. Hi, my name is Suzanne Scott, and I'm the Director of Health Services here at the University of the Arts. Well, I did miss being on campus this semester. There were a few nice things about being remote. I got to spend a lot more time with my family, and we spent a lot more time at the beach this summer. And best of all, we got a new puppy. Say hello to Penny. Meet Penny. This is our girl. Um, I hope you all had a good semester, and I hope we get to see you soon. Say goodbye, Penny. Bye-bye. I'm making the most of this moment by spending more time outside with my family, my husband, Kevin, and our dog, Lyle. Hello, my name is Rebecca Sack, and I'm the program director of Fine Arts and Painting. I'm making the most of this moment by taking breaks with my pup at the dog park. I'm making the most of this moment by questioning everything. Everything I did before, everything I took for granted before, everything I thought was the norm before, I'm questioning all of it and actively seeking answers. Happy UArts Weekend from the University Libraries.